Hello everyone, welcome to part 12 of my Neverwhere project in City Skylines. Okay, so uh, last time around I built this highway affair here. I um, wonder what this bit here at this escarpment thing looks like. Okay, the uh, path it takes doesn't look quite so dumb once you uh, can see the actual hill. Okay, now this could be smoother, but I'm not overly concerned about that. Okay, so my goal is to make it to the 90,000 population uh, to get to the megalopolis stage. Uh, because I'm using the all areas unlockable mod, or one of them, uh, I'll, get, uh, I'll get to be able to purchase all the areas. But uh, that's that's not what I'm gonna do right away is uh, well uh, there's no point purchasing an area if you're not gonna do anything with it um, I'll probably pick up this area first so I can link the highway up and that should take some pressure off this main route here uh, but I clearly need some additional uh, a development so that uh, I can increase the residential demand or I need something at least. What I'm going to do is look at the taxes. Um, and I see I've got some glitching here. Let's see. Yep, I've got some glitching. So I'm going to First, I'm going to adjust the taxes like I was going to. Okay. And now, I'm going to save the game. Now the solution to uh, this the last time it happened was to exit completely and start again. Okay, let's see if that fixes the uh, glitchy stuff.
Now let's see. And this time it loaded properly. Uh, that looks like some sort of a glitch with textures. Anyway, okay, my tax change is saved. I'm going to speed this up. and see what that does okay so my uh, budgets going way down or my money coming in I'm not overly worried about that given my three million plus uh, uh, sim currency but you can see it's creeping up rapidly so there really isn't much to be concerned about there. And uh, that has got, at least for the short term, the population uh, number increasing. take a look here at the demographics okay so I'm inverted on the uh, birth and death rate right now now that means that uh, any population growth has to be due to in migration now I've also got 12 percent unemployment which is why these demand equations are so high so what I'm going to do, I'm going to back this off. Now, I'm going to extend these And apparently it's not smart enough to move the supports uh, if you run into them when building a road. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so over here I'm going to build uh, what well, zoning is what I want. Let's put some office stuff here. And see what happens. And here as well, I think. Now, I'm going to tip it down and see why. And that's exactly what it is. There's a support in the way. Okay. Well, I can remedy that. Uh, roads, highways. If I demolish the section I can extend my road and then okay there we go now I just need to reverse it of course, I could have just dragged it the other way, but then I didn't have a reference point at the other location. Now, did that uh, allow this one to go through? Space already occupied by what?
Okay, I'll take that out. Space already occupied by what? Okay. Okay, now I'll try this again. Okay. That one goes through. And that has to go away. Now, I'll rebuild this. I'm not actually interfering with traffic here by doing this because there's no traffic, it doesn't go anywhere, so it's not uh, causing any trouble. Okay. Uh, next one over. Whoops. Yeah, there's another one here. Okay. <sighs> okay. same problem here, on half of it at least. So, I think this is the last one. Okay. I think this is the last one that will go through without being conflicting with the interchange here. Yes. Okay. Well, that's as many as I actually need anyway, so it's not a problem. There we go. Now, back to zoning this stuff. Now, I could be funny and uh, zone in here, uh, but I'm not going to because it just wouldn't be done, and I think it would look dumb. Anyway, uh, I've got uh, stuff developing there, so that's excellent. Now developing along here shouldn't cause a huge amount of side-to-side -side traffic since the main roads here um, come into the residential area. Now I'm going to turn this around. And I'm going to extend these roads some. Okay, that's all of them. 
Now I need a crossroad. Now two, four, six. This is where I'm going to put it. Uh, 16, 15, 14. Okay, four, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No, I went one too far. Where would it be? One too few, two too few. Four, and that's a gap. One, two, three, four. That's four more. That's a road. That's a road. That's where I want it. Yep. Yeah. That lines up, okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is bring water across. Okay. Now, some more excitement. Office is here. Okay. I'm going to speed this up. You can see that while I've been working, I've been accumulating population. Um, demographics uh, show the birth rate uh, reverted, so that probably made all the difference. Uh, though it means I've got higher uh, unemployment, so um, I definitely need to get some sort of um, jobs going here. Uh, two, four, six. I'm going to need to put a main road across here, but that's not where I'm going to do it. Uh, I should zone this in too.
there we go. I've made it to the Megalopolis stage. Now there's no more stages after this, no more unlocks. Uh, so that's all excellent and good. Uh, but uh, that doesn't mean there's no more game. So I'm going to acquire this spot. Uh, okay, so I have that spot, which means I can now build my highway across. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to do that because... Um, I think it's going to be important for transport, and it's better to have it there before I need it than not have it when I do need it. Now, I've got a big gap here, and I'm going to leave it that way. Now, I'm going to leave it elevated as I come across with this piece up to about here. Now, I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to do two things here. I'm going to take a ramp off here. Uh, let's do the curvy thing. Okay, to here. Now, There we go. And now I'll also make a connection there. This one will connect in this way. Okay. Now, um, this doesn't... Okay, there we go. Okay, so what that does is allows movement to the north-south highway, or the up-down highway, I guess and into this area from this highway. Now, I need to link up this way as well. So, it's going to start with an exit here. Okay, come on, there. Okay, 
Alright. Okay, that gets from the up down highway in. Uh, and. And that gets that. You know, that's not how I want to do that. That's what I want. Okay, now I need to reverse this direction. There we go. Now, I need one more connector in here. And that is from here. There we go. Now talk about a spaghetti mess. But now I've got traffic going on here. And I think realistically, I'm gonna need one more connector here. And I think it's gonna be here. Okay, I need to bring this road across. Oops. Oh, that one fits. Or does it? Nope. Nope. Okay, I gotta fix that one. Okay, bring the road across. <laughs> and I might as well upgrade it through here. in the way. What's in the way here? Huh. Uh, I need to fix my highways. Okay, now I can unpause it. Now, what's in the way here? Not that. Not that. Not that. Not that. So it's the rail line. Okay. So I'm going to have to do that to upgrade. Now, of course, nobody from Colossal Order is watching. But it would be brilliant if it was possible to have the sim engineers, and since they're clearly fairly smart, they can build these things. It, it, it would be nice if these engineers were smart enough that 
they could actually relocate the support pile piles when you want to build through somewhere. Maybe have it cost more or something like that, but it would be brilliant. Nope. I want to relocate this back one. Come on. Here we go. Oh, that went back too. Uh, okay. Uh, and this, I need to relocate it again. Okay, and fix the zoning. Okay. Whoops. Okay, now I need to do the fancy work to make a, make an interchange here. Uh, let's see where. I need ramps. Yep, that seems right. So does that. Well, I'll reverse this one so it's going the right way. Now, over here, what can I do? Can I put an intersection under the... Now that's a tight ramp. Okay, to make this work, I... Oh, I've got a bus route there. Okay. Well, this may not be ideal, and the ramps look, well, the ramps look okay. Um, this one's better, but you get, you do get things like that in uh, the real world in tight spaces, so I suppose that's not so far out of uh, the realm of reality. Okay, I still have insane unemployment. So, I'm going to uh, 
uh, I'm going to construct the main road across here now. And that's going to have to be right about here. Dope. Uh, right about here. Okay. That's a temporary uh, connection there. This will come across and I'll link these up. Or at least I'll try to link them up. Okay. Okay. Now, Okay, so this comes across, and this links up. There we go. Okay. This one would be perfect. Oh, that one should be able to come through as well. Uh, okay, I'm going to build that. And... Uh, Got to actually select the road type. Okay, there was one case where... What? Why can't I... Reverse it? That's another thing Colossal Order probably should look into. Is something that's already built, you should always be able to reverse the direction. It shouldn't try rebuilding it and failing. Um, okay. When they finish with their uh, excitement with their forums, maybe I'll uh, bring that up on there. Since it's clearly an issue. But still. It's better being able to do upgrade or direction changes at all without uh, rebuilding. So uh, I suppose it's uh, better than it could be. Well, it's better than it was. Okay. Now, now that I've done that, I'll expand my. Uh, office areas here and I'll do office areas here too uh, and I'll build a uh, cul-de-sac thing there for some more 
Okay, now... Uh, I should make sure that I, I don't have enough water in there. Okay, so I need to bring this over and bring a pipe across. Okay, everything should be good there now. Now I'm going to have to start adding services over here for it to level up. But it should uh, it should level up fairly well. Uh, okay, I'm going to look in here. That's a playground. Uh, that's a park with trees, which is fairly large. So I'm going to put that over here. I'm also going to put one slope too steep. Huh. Uh, well, maybe a, a Zen garden or two. No, I don't want it there, but that's where I plopped it. And I'm going to move it over here. Okay. I wonder... Can I bring this underneath? Oh, right, I remember. To build these things square, I have to use one-way roads. Now, what was it I needed to do here? Right, it was change it to a ramp. Okay, so that uh, should reduce the bottlenecks on the actual highway, hopefully. Once the uh, backlog clears anyway.
This might be a prime candidate for a roundabout interchange. Anyway, since there's a lot of traffic heading right there, by moving the intersection over, I give it much more room for vehicle storage. Now I wonder if moving this intersection over might perhaps help as well. Not what I wanted to do. Okay, so that in increases the storage area there. Well, I'll have to keep an eye on that spot anyway. And look at the traffic flowing around here. Okay. I need to check on something here. Okay. Oh, bugger. I just created me a, uh, a black screen. Huh. Wonder why it created a black screen. Come on. Where is the... Come on. Asking about overwriting now. Come on. Come on, flash me something I can see. Now, all you watching the video, you can't see this.
Okay. Okay. Now let's see if it's saved. did. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to call that There we go. I'm going to call that the end of part 12. And I guess I'll see everybody back for part 13. Uh, thanks for watching.